And you feel like uh, a lot of this all just got started with the back and forth stuff when shit blew up on the air. Yeah, I mean, that's when this started, you know, well into it. Probably about, I'll, I'll say, as, as I think about it, probably about a month and a half afterwards, after and, it started. And Dave, you're guaranteeing no listener involvement. I'm saying I have nothing to do with this. I'm not guaranteeing no listener involvement. I find it probably coincidental. But who the fuck knows? Maybe someone is an asshole. But they certainly aren't connected to me in any way. Nor are they connected to anyone who really cares about the Ron Fez show. Because anyone who would would not fucking go to this lunacy. Here's uh, Fred from Brooklyn. Hey, Fred. Man, um, I feel for you, Fezzy. Um, this has been done to me in my life. I understand. But, boy, I got to tell you, I, I, people accuse me of telling Ron what's happening to me in my life. Mm -hmm. I, have, I have kept so much from you, Ron. I, 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 don't, even, I don't even tell you half the things because it's not your problem. But my speaking up... I know has has fucking hit me hard, man. I know it. And, and if I told you for real what's happened to me, I think you'd be shocked. I, I, it's not my place. When it when it got personal into my family, I try to stop that. But um, I've never told you about the Dun and Bradstreet reports, the uh, financial investigations on my part, the, uh, uh, the 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 using of my name on the internet improperly. I, it's endless what has happened to me, and I've kept it to myself. Do you feel like these are the same people that are harassing Fezzi? There's a ruthless bunch of IP fucking assholes in this community who know how to touch every button inside the corporate world, and they do it for a certain crowd. I've seen it done in instances. I, I, I can't be specific as to who, but there is definitely a group. Definitely a group. No doubt about it. So you think this is what Fez has gone through, and you you feel the same way as as Fred? This, I mean, I haven't talked to Fred about this. This is exactly how I feel about it. This is a, this is the first thing I thought of when it happened again. Why would somebody who, why would someone risk trying to do it again yeah. unless it's you know one of the other motives besides theft is to harass? Do you know that there are some people's sole intentions on the internet to be as mean as they possibly can, and they, and they get. And they get re rewarded by their peers. Dave, are you uh, denying this stuff happened to Fred? I, I've never heard of this shit. I've never heard of this, what he's talking about. I've had to change several things on the Internet. There was one, com I, there was one company I was advertising with in the Yellow Pages at one time, Ron. Mm -hmm. I was spending $17,000 a month advertising with this company. My entire online profile was destroyed to the point where business stopped coming. That company is now suing me for not paying them. It's dragged into thousands and thousands of dollars of problems, affecting my business in all ways. And, and listen, I, 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 I can't pinpoint it, but I know. I, I, just, I know for a fact. I know for the endless crank phone calls to my business during a period of time. It's but amazing just, how much this sounds like Fez's story. It's the exact same thing. I mean, right. I, I understand information is out there. No, there's an intentional search for it, and when it's found, it's done underground once again by anonymous people hiding behind anonymous names on anonymous boards that think it's fucking endless that they can just do this. And, man, if there's any way I can help you, Fezzi, maybe we'll tap into a little of what happened to me. But there's, an, an, there's anonymity on the Internet um, really brings the worst out in people when they can act on their devilish side and nobody knows it's them. And it's happening. Do not doubt it for a fucking second. I've had to shut down parts of my business that have been running for 20 years successfully because I got into arguments with people. My kid had to drop out of his college fucking radio class because his podcast that he was doing for a college radio station, the, the, the website was bombarded with he's a faggot. His father should die. I've seen it on all fucking ends, and I just stay silent. You, I promised you in a meeting that we had that I'd never fucking fire back, man. Mm. And I tell you, I... I I, the pain I've gone through, I haven't even brought up to your attention. I'm too much of a guy to, to just to, to tell you that. But, bro, I, I speaking up for what I believe in in this community has, has done more to my bad health than um, fighting so for my family. you've never done things under anonymity? 
all under anonymity, but there's a specific... No, 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 you. You've never done things under anonymity? Under anonymity? Never. You've never Nothing. posted things? Never. So you've never posted... Rude, you, you've never had podcasts of your own running down people's wives? Not under anonymity. So He's always been up front. Right, uh, but... but so, um, like, fake, you know, uh, Twitter names and shit that match to your speaking and match to the way you type and everything, that's like a coincidence? Never. Have Never. you ever uh, done, uh, have you ever um, flattened anyone's tires when living in Brooklyn? No. Oh, have Never. you ever sent uh, letters? What, what, what is your point? Are you accusing or are you asking questions? Well, I'm just wondering. I'm just wondering because... Are you saying he did this to you? I'm just wondering, you know, he, 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 he talks a, a big, uh, uh, huge game of, you know, people attack an anonymously... But I feel like, you know, Fred has... Are you saying that I slashed tires? I'm not saying anything, Fred. I didn't say that. I'm, I'm going to do my detective work now. Everyone's playing a little fucking Magnum P.I. What do you see, a plan, Dave? There's a plan I see against a plan. you? I see a plan. I think I, I see a plan against me forming. Um, I think it's probably Fred. Possibly Fez is in it. And I think I Somebody in your camp making everybody else look like shit to prevent themselves. You're obsessed with someone who's been off the internet for a month. Yeah, but the damage was done. The and you're was... still going on about it, Fred. No, it, that, that, the, the, the person hadn't posted or done anything about you in a year, two Who years. Who are we talking about? My wife. Okay. She hadn't done shit to Fred in two years. You're oh. fucking delusional and, ups and obsessed. You are so fucking wrong and you are so stupid. Stupid. No, you're but, stupid, Fred. You're stupid for thinking that you know everything that goes on, on the internet, and you oh, fucking jump to conclusions faster than the shittiest murder she wrote episode. I am more observant than you will ever become, Dave. No, you're, you're 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 psychotically observant. You're not. So hold on. Let, let me try to. You're saying he's obsessed with your wife, and Fred, you're saying this with you. I am saying. That once I was tarnished, it still goes to this day. Your business is fine. And no one ever how tarnished. Do you know? No one tarnishes you don't his know business. Anything. How would you know what, how his business is going? He's brought this up before. We saw the the post or the thread of something where someone was, was said that he's like a he fixes uh, he does something he does some sort of construction. That was what people said. It had no attack on his business. It, your wife posted my company name. I don't. I know. I don't know about that, Fred. I, you know, I can't keep surveillance on people, even my wife, twenty four seven. She was on Pal Talk today. Absolutely. She's allowed to go on Pal Talk and talk to a friend of hers. She's not going on uh, message boards talking about the show. She's not talking about the show. She's an American who pays for Pal Talk. She's allowed. Oh, yeah. First of all, she's allowed to go anywhere she wants. No yeah. one ever said that. So, well, then Fez, and why is Fez saying that? Well, Fez and her had problems. That has nothing to do with anything. He just fucking said something, too. Again, Dave, this was Fez's fucking thing, right? Uh, then Fred calls to agree. Why do you go bringing yourself and, you know, your people in? Because I'm not going to let Fred pretend that he's Mr. Johnny Innocence, and he's he all the things that he said about himself, he's done to everyone else in the oh. internet community. Every you were like a, a hysterical, you know, put the mirror up to your fucking image, Fred. Everything you just said, you've been guilty of. So if people have fucked with you, that's unfortunate. But it's it's stopped. We had a sit down a year and a half ago on the Ryan Fez show. Everyone was cool. Then you you realize, you know what? I'm Fred. I like conflict. I'm going to start fucking shitting on people on my podcast and and pretending, possibly pretending that I'm uh, f fake people's names and going after them that way. What I'm doing, Dave? Dave, you know what? I have never been anything but myself. I'm Fred from Brooklyn no matter where I go. I have never been anything fake, and nor can I falsely represent myself. You've never done, created a fake message board name ever in your life? Never. In your life? He just said never. How many times is he going to say it? The only name that is not me is the original one I signed on to Whack Bag. Oh, uh, there, there, there's one, then. There's what? one. Oh, my God. Well, that's not the same. Thing. Oh, well, it is. It is. I never created a different uh, fake name, but there, there, there's one. So, oh, he, so I, uh, you know, if we, I have to keep asking you follow-ups, are you going to be honest? Dave, you're going all over the place, Dave, to protect something. My name was Entry because I wasn't Fred from Brooklyn. I wasn't known as Fred from Brooklyn yet. I was Whack Bag Entry on Pal That's Talk. not your name, is it? That's not your name. 
So that so there my so uh, David McDonald. All right, Dave, I just Megan Pi. Right, you seriously, Dave? Yes. I don't want a bunch of fucking inside internet talk. Fez's fucking bank account got busted into. That's what we were discussing. It cannot constantly go back to your stuff. It can't. Let him have Fez's stuff today. He wants to team up with Fred. Ron, the bottom line is I have no vested interest in this show other than you giving out that fucking phone number and me calling when I'm bored driving in my car. That's all I have ever done for this fucking show. If you've called me up to the studio, you asked me other things or whatever, I swear it started with a fucking phone call. That's all I ever wanted to do was call a show. Wherever it went from there. Was people's own perception, man. I, I, all I ever did for you, Dave, was give you a truck when you needed one, and this, I, and I, I don't true. know where it turned. I have no fucking idea right. where it turned. It wasn't me. All right, we're I, gonna, Fred, we're gonna have you come in one day this week. All right, buddy. All right, man. All right. Talk to you later. Thanks, Fred. Nobody knows who stole Fez's money. Nobody knows us. Why is this fucking suddenly turning into a goddamn Mexican standoff? Fucking I don't know. people pointing at Fez, people pointing at Fred, people pointing at Dave. Chris Stanley doesn't seem to be in any of these problems.